Georgia O'Keeffe has such a prominent space in the art world, in American art, and the development of, of American art. Talk about uh, Petunias. Immediately recognizable. Um, painted in the 20s, before she moves to Santa Fe, New Mexico, where we associate her for much of her la the last part of her career. But she was with Stieglitz, who, this wonderful photographer, this gallerist, this visionary in modern art, whom she married, finally. Great love, a great friendship, a great collaboration. collaboration. Absolutely, absolutely. And Sometimes he, stormy. Yes, and he, of course, discovered her. He actually showed her drawings, abstract drawings, in 1915, before anyone was doing this sort of work. And um, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful story. This is painted from in Lake George, in, in the Adirondacks, um, where he's, he had a house. And we can't, when we look at it, but think of fertility and of femininity, of some sense of um, almost generation. George O'Keeffe got quite frustrated, even in her own day, with a Freudian reading of her flower paintings. She felt that she was looking at flowers. She was looking at them so closely, so carefully. This is how they appeared to her. They appeared big to her. They appeared powerful to her. She, was, she had a little truck with saying that this was a Freudian symbol of femininity, of the power of the feminine. But we can't get away from that because this picture just does envelop us. We can almost sense, we can almost smell the perfume. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>